coming to you in front of my new, new to me, pop top camper on my minivan. I built this over the last few weeks, and this last week I've been living the van life, living inside here, sleeping in my hammock. I have a daytime setup, cooking setup. It's been a lot of fun. Later on in this video, I'm going to take you on a mini backpacking trip as I go to the back country of my backyard and try out some new gear. Hope you enjoy it. Before I do anything, I need a cup of coffee. A little bit of Organic Valley, half and half. I'm set up in lounge mode. Good place to sit and have my morning coffee. Or at nighttime, I can swing my table around, put my laptop here, and watch a movie or work on my laptop and do video editing or whatever else I need to do online. And here you can see I can stand up in here. It's three feet from side to side, a little over five feet from end to end, six foot eight approximately. It's great to be able to stand up cook, prepare my coffee, put my pants on, and it makes it a lot roomier in here. Now we're in the bedroom, all set up for nighttime mode. Can't wait to sleep in here again tonight. Last night, sleeping in a tent on the hard ground, no fun for an older guy. Hammock camping is the way to go. This makes this little minivan into a versatile, roomy place. Good hike. Puppies. Pretty simple setup. Oh, 
of the vents. Either open or lay flat. Stakes for holding out the fly. Double zipper, and there's one on the other side too, so you can come and go on either side. I'm far along this because there was actually frost on the ground this morning when I got up. I'm going to put this underneath the pad so I don't get cold in the night. This Kelty backpack I've had for 41 years. And had the sleeping bag that long through. This is an REI synthetic sleeping bag. I think it was rated at five degrees. Eh, it's not good for five degrees anymore. But I lived in my backpack and in that sleeping bag for hundreds of nights. Literally hundreds of nights. Seems appropriate that Right next to the deer family tent, we got some deer family poop. We regularly see three deer, a mother and her two fawns up here, or yearlings now. I'll put in some footage I have of them that I just took yesterday morning. A budget tent, budget sleeping pad, and a budget chair. This is your Walmart special Ozark Trail. Voila. The camp chair. And this here is a fire pit, a portable fire pit. By life do. dry pine life do portable outdoor fire pit Made from, looks like, eighth inch steel. It's got like a nice powder coat on it. Handles, so they can all be carried and stacks flat. Like less than a, about a half inch thick when all stacked together. So easy to store in the trunk of a car. In the back of the pickup truck or SUV.
Well, tonight I'm going to sleep in this tent, sleep in the sleeping bag, try out the air mattress, even though I would much rather sleep in my hammock in my van. But it's supposed to be really warm tonight, like only a low of 45, but it's supposed to start raining early in the morning, so I'll have to get up early and pack it up or leave it out and see how it holds up in the rain. I get that fire roaring with some good dry hardwood and sit around the fire, eat some good food. This last year I did not do many videos because I was on the road all the time delivering RVs, um, which was nice in some ways. I got to see all kinds of uh, country, beautiful places. Got to see the sun rise almost every morning and sunsets. And absolutely gorgeous in various parts of the country. And I've been out west multiple times, which is my favorite place to go. I did take some video when I was near Glacier last summer and maybe throw in a clip or two in here. And I love going through Utah. There's, it is such a gorgeous, amazing state. Um, I only stopped there for short times. Um, I did do some boondocking in Idaho, which was a lot of fun. Sawtooth Mountains. I could spend a year there. That is such a beautiful national forest, the wilderness area. I'd love to go back back in there. Or just boondocking out in the bush with uh, my van. So hopefully I'll be able to figure out a way to get in more camping this summer. If not, I'm going to camp more with my car on my return trips. As long as I can get back on the road. They're hoping by the end of May that things will pick up again and I'll be able to spend more time working. Um, just started driving with a new company just last month, so I only made three runs with them, but they pay way more than the company I drove for last year, so I will be able to afford to take a little more time coming home and stopping and doing some side trips and enjoying the, the wonders of the world that we have here in the United States. Hard to believe it's been 40 years ago when I got my first tent and backpack and um, all my gear, hit the road every summer, hitchhiked around out all west, camped in all kinds of cool places, worked at Yellowstone, did cherry picking, met a lot of neat people, had a lot of good experiences and only about two questionable rides in all of my time and all my miles of hitchhiking. So. Overall, it was a wonderful experience. The thing that stopped it was when Mount St. Helens erupted. I went out to Idaho that summer. I was planning on getting a job and moving out there permanently. But when I got out there, everything was covered in ash. And it was raining every day. It was really not pleasant to be out there at all. And because it was raining and I was wet, it made it pretty hard to get rides hitchhiking too. So it was a pretty miserable time. So I did cut it short and went back to Wisconsin that summer. And I just noticed my microphone wasn't on when I placed that on there. So I'm making some hobo stew, which has wild grass-fed beef hamburger. These are actually cattle a uh, guy my son works for who raises cattle for rodeos. Um, and then there's also broccoli and cabbage, salt and pepper, onions, butter, and cheese. Starting to smell good. That usually means it is good. I think I can figure out how to get this out of here. Ooh, it's hot. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, let's see if she's good. Give me a look before I eat it. If I can get it in there. And all that yumminess. Mm-mm, good. <coughs> Perfect. Well, on here it says it's not supposed to rain till 11 a.m. Possible chance at 10. But it's sprinkling right now. Right now. Trying to close the. Why? Well, Wisconsin does have a lot of wildlife. We do have a lot of black bears. Not necessarily that many right around here, but there have been some locally. There are mountain lions. They're not seen very often, but they have been confirmed. We have a lot of wolves and a lot of coyotes and deer galore. We also have a herd of elk up by Black River Falls and there are moose in northern Wisconsin as well. Oh yeah, and there have been a couple um, reports of Sasquatch. One not too far from here. I don't know, a couple different ones in northern Wisconsin. But they're more elusive than the mountain lion. I'm going to say it's time to move on inside. I can't. Well, it is raining out. Although it's more like sprinkling instead of raining. So, I'm going to get a test of this tent. See how it holds up under the rain. It has been a fun day. Like always, when you're outside all day long, you do get tired, so I'm gonna sleep good tonight, even on a thin mattress instead of in my wonderful hammock. But good, good warm meal, full belly, happy man. Good night.